Hi students. Um, this video is about how in college you can break through um, some of the conventions of five paragraph essay structure. So a lot of you um, in uh, high school um, learned five paragraph essay structure. And what that was was like, you have a paragraph for your introduction and one paragraph each for each of your supporting points and a paragraph for your conclusion. And that's a fine way to learn how to write an academic essay in the parts of an academic essay, which are um, an introduction, a body with distinct supporting points and a conclusion. Um, however, um, once you get into college, you can break through free from that structure a little bit. And if you try to, you know, hold on to it too closely, you might not really be following where your thinking is taking you. So um, in college, it's fine if you have an introduction that's two paragraphs. Um, it's fine to have a thesis statement that's more than one sentence. Your thesis might be two or three sentences. That's fine. Sometimes you need two or three sentences to kind of describe your position. Um, it's also fine if you, your supporting sections are more than one paragraph. So for example, you know, if you have three or four supporting points, it's okay to write two paragraphs about one supporting point, but only um, one paragraph about another supporting point. Um, so uh, the thing to do is to, you know, it just, it's a natural thing that happens that sometimes we have more to say about one of our supporting points or one of our supporting points is more complicated. So it requires more explanation. Um, so don't worry about all your supporting sections being the same length. It's OK if they're different um, lengths. And your conclusion you know, could also be more than one paragraph if you want. So that's a big shift that happens when you move from high school to college writing. Um, and I wanted to let you know about it. 